Good morning guys and welcome back. So this weekend we're supposed to be going up to the Glasshouse Mountains just outside of Brisbane uh, with about 20 or 30 um, Jeep owners from Brisbane, um, also with the All-American Welling Crew, but ah, that bloody virus had to wiggle its ugly little head um, and the event got cancelled. Brisbane's in a three day lockdown um, and we're supposed to be going today. It is absolutely pissing out of rain, and has been, but that just makes it more fun. And we didn't really care about that, it was more just meeting out with people, kind of like the first uh, event of the year. But luckily it's been postponed to uh, next weekend, so make sure you guys keep an eye out for that video because it'd be bloody awesome. So what do we do on wet, rainy days when you're on the coast? Normally when it's wet and rainy, uh, I think we've got some big swells at the moment, so it's perfect time to go surfing. So a lot of people either stir the, store their surfboards up on the roof, um, but if you live in a dodgy neighbourhood, um, dodgy parts of town, um, or you go into town, you go going shopping after you go surfing, um, some people get worried about the surfboards getting stolen, and like, why not? They are quite expensive. Um, so I've got a little tip here for you guys on how to store your surfboards inside your Jeep. Um, this might also help if you don't have reef racks, um, or you've got a soft top and you don't want to rest it on the soft top um, and um, wreck your soft top, put holes in it and that sort of stuff. So some people will, will lay their seats down and stuff like that, um, but if you're carrying passengers, you've got multiple boards and stuff like that, it's not going to really work and a lot of people want to keep their Jeep in uh, tighter conditions, surfboards are all salty and sandy and all that sort of crap. So this is a nice little tip um, to lift your surfboard um, up off the ground um, and keep it off the roof in a nice, safe and secure spot. So this is for JK owners, TG owners, people that don't have roof racks or have a soft top as well. So a really simple idea. Um, all it is is it's cheap and easy guys. Uh, all we've got is some, um, some bungee cord with some loops on it from Super Cheap Auto. I think a six pack, six pack of these were about $15, so really cheap. You might be able to find some cheaper ones on eBay and Amazon. Also, before we get started, comment below where you guys are keeping your surfboards or paddleboards or whatever it might be. Whether it's on the roof, in your Jeep, or a little trailer. I've seen some people use trailers as well. Um, but this is a really cheap and simple idea. $15 from Super Cheap Auto or um, if you're in America, some automotive store or eBay, Amazon, stuff like that. So we've got two wrapped around the rear roll bar here. Then in, in front of the Jeep, um, I've used something else because the ones I've got are a little bit short. Um, so I've used them for the back. But on the front, um, all it is is some um, paracord, whatever you guys want to call them. And you can use string, rope, whatever it might be. All I've done is tied it, um, tightened it uh, nice and tight between the two roll bars at the front here. Uh, make sure it's nice and tight. So that part there will support the front side of the surfboard. So I'll just chuck you guys on the tr tripod um, and we'll chuck it in the Jeep. You'll see how easy it is and see how much room you can actually work with as well. So what I like to do is grab my surfboard, uh, thread it through over the back seat. Um, I kind of have it sticking out uh, further back just so it's not in the way of your head. Uh, when you are driving. So you got your two loops at the back. And a lot of people have surfboards with like big fins on it as well. So you got one hooked up nice and tight. So we go around to the front. And around the front, we got the front of the surfboard there. What we got to do is lift it up. The front of the surfboard there, what we got to do is lift it up, slide that under and try and keep that nice and high, uh, kind of out of the way of the passenger um, and drivers. You can pull that a little bit tighter um, if you want, just try and get a bit further up. But that roll bar there, that sound bars, is going to go in the way, so it's going to hang down a little bit. But it's out of the way of the back passengers um, and the driver and the passenger as well. And that's kind of a preference how tight you want it as well. Um, that's a little bit loose, so you can always chuck you guys back on the tripod. You can always just tighten it up a bit, nice and tight. And just loop it back around itself again. So really simple and easy, takes what? Less than two minutes. So I've got a fin on mine, so it is going to get in the way of that sound bar. You can probably flip it over so it sits a little bit high if you want, um, but you've still got ample storage in your boot, um, and it's nice and tucked up out of the way. So nice, really simple, $15 from Super Cheap Auto. Keep the surfboard um, off the roof, out of the way. And you've still got plenty of storage um, to go camping with. Uh, you've got passengers and stuff like that. That's why I like it, because a lot of people will fold down the back seats um, and you've kind of lost all your cargo area and stuff like that. Um, and you've lost your back passenger seats as well. So this keeps it 
nice and out of the way, um, free for all your other stuff. So if you want to go camping and stuff like that, you've still got ample room for all that sort of stuff. Or you don't have roof racks, or you've got a soft top, um, as I said before. But really cheap, simple idea. $15 from Super Cheap Auto, eBay, Amazon, and you're good to go. So if you guys like this video, smash that like button. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button to keep up to date with all the videos. Next weekend, we are heading to Glasshouse Mountains. Um, I don't know how hard of tracks I'm going to do personally, um, but I'll be definitely recording. Everybody else will be smashing those trails, especially after the strain. It's going to be pretty bloody hard out there. So make sure you guys subscribe for that. I can't wait myself. It's going to be awesome to meet up with a few uh, fellow Jeep owners and stuff like that as well. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for that. It should be an awesome video. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys like this little idea. If you do, comment below, like, subscribe, all that awesome stuff. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.